Johnny Jackson here, IFBB Pro, and uh, I was dubbed uh, the world's strongest bodybuilder. Um, it first came out um, uh, when I was signed with uh, um, Muscular Development Magazine, uh, Steve Blackman, uh, during a photo shoot, uh, saw the way I lifted and uh, didn't use fake blades. So he was like, uh, hey, I think you're about the strongest bodybuilder, in it, aren't you? And um, it, it branched out from there. But in 2009, they actually had a competition at the Mr. Olympia, uh, the world's strongest bodybuilder, which I won and I did a uh, 500 and uh, uh, I think it was, I can't remember the bench press. I think it was 525 bench press and uh, 832 pound uh, deadlift uh, to win the title there. So uh, here I am. <laughs> Being a part of the Ronnie era. Um, uh, to be honest, you feel a little bit shattered, uh, to be honest. Um, it, it's, it, is a, an, it was awesome, and it was a pleasure in uh, sharing the stage with uh, Ronnie Coleman and watching him and all his successes. But in doing that, um, I was competing too, and it seemed like you know the, all the focus was on what was going on with him and not was, what was going on with the other competitors. And we were working and uh, striving to become Mr. Olympia just as hard as he was. Um, but so happened he the one that had the spotlight and that's the way it went. That's a good question. Um, Cause I really don't separate era to era to era. Uh, I mean, the only era that I really separate is, uh, you know, the Arnold area because after the Arnold area, that's when things uh, pretty much changed and became m more of the same thing and um but a little bit bigger you know and then out of control big uh after the arnold era um so um i would have to say flex wheeler i mean he, he well man that, that's a good question because the flex he was awesome but kevin lavrone i'm a big fan of his physique also uh he was a beautiful he had a beautiful physique i think flex physique was a little bit prettier than uh Kevin, but Kevin was a better poser and was able to present his physique a little bit better than uh, Flex. So uh, it, it was, um, you know, back and forth with uh, who had the better physique because of how they presented it. But uh, just naturally, I think uh, Flex Wheeler uh, had the better physique out of, out of two of them. Of all my wins, um, I will still have to say, well, it's a close tie between uh, the Nationals when I won and uh, in 2007 uh, the Atlantic City Pro uh, because both times I had my family uh, with me um, at the Nationals I'd have my uh, mom and you know my immediate family that way but I had my uh, ex-wife and uh, our son I had him been there uh, when I turned pro uh, but in 2007 I had my mom my brother my sisters my aunt my uncle I'm from New Jersey, so uh, it was easy to get everyone to come out. I had about 30 family members there in the audience with me uh, when I won that pro, won that pro show. So, uh, um, like I said, they come in pretty much hand in hand, uh, being my, my my favorite wins. Um, this this year would be my 12th Olympia uh, appearance. My goodness, I can't believe it. It's been that long. Um, it, 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 what's been uh, the biggest thing to help me be consistent with uh, appearing at the Olympia each year is my drive of uh, being successful. Um, it's like the NFL, every team drive to reach the Super Bowl. You know, th that's the biggest show, that's post game play, the biggest show of the year. So our Olympia is the biggest show and everybody expect the best of the best to be there at the Olympia. And uh, that's where, you know, I put myself um, in my mind so I expect that's where I'll end up, you know, at the end of the year each year. And uh, I work as though, you know, there's nothing else uh, more important than me reaching that goal. And uh, luckily I've reached it uh, 12 times and uh, we'll see what happens after this. Yeah, uh, this year uh, definitely has been a, um, a hell of a look for me. Um, I think I've got a real fresh looking look this year. Uh, kind of like when I first came on the scene when I turned pro uh, back in 2001, a uh, long time ago. Um, and one of the things is uh, my new nutritionist, uh, Chris Aceto, working with him. And I totally believe in the process. 
Um, I think that's just one of the biggest deal is the mind game. You know, the physical thing, I think we can, you know, adjust and uh, get through it and uh, be able to handle that. Uh, but the mental is always what stop us in our tracks uh, or make us go backwards or make us fail. And um, uh, this guy's kept me on, on, on point. He's kept me on my game, um, kept me mentally focused. Um, and always stay in touch with me. I don't have to run around, try to keep up with him. Um, he's worried about what I'm doing more than what, what I'm worried about what I'm doing. Um, so I believe in him and then in believing in him, I totally believe in the process he's taking me through. And in that belief, um, it's been totally comfortable and I've been working my butt off and everything. You know, I, I stop and I look at what's next, you know, meal wise, okay make sure this is the you know when i get done eating my meal i want to look back and say i ate everything i was i was supposed to and it was perfect you know cardio section i want to go get after it and uh, when i'm done i want to make sure that i say hey i could i left it all there you know same thing with weight training um so you know like i said i believe in the process and i think that's the biggest change in this year in my conditioning and uh and getting ready for the, the olympia well my training had um my training uh, had changed, or I changed my training during my off season. After last year's Mr. Olympia, I was pretty much burnt out and uh, I needed a rest. So I, I just said, you know what, it is what it is. Whatever happens, happens. We always are afraid of just resting, you know, and uh, that's what I did. I said, I'm just going to, you know, hang out with my family. And I became uh, an old, um, you know, father and husband and uh, just took care of uh, around the house and took care of my family and you know did what I can for them and rested my body as much as possible. I didn't train for three months um, and then when I went back to training I didn't go back to training with uh, Branch, my usual workout partner. I trained uh, with myself and a couple times with uh, a friend of mine um, and uh, you know I changed my workout and I was doing legs uh, three times a week. You know, I was changing up uh, the first day a week uh, doing legs, you know, I'll go heavy and do, uh, you know, both quads and hamstrings and calves. Um, the second time will be Wednesday, that will be Monday. Wednesday, I would do them again. Uh, this time I'll do a lot lighter and a lot stricter movements, a lot slower movements, a lot of negatives like this. Um, and then uh, the last day of the week, I will focus more on uh, the outer sweep and hamstrings and calves. Um, so I did break them down a little bit and not focus on the same thing every, every each time I did them during the week. Um, I hit them differently, uh, but I made sure I focused on them more than I did anything else. Um, because I, I like to remind you that uh, you're only as strong as your weakest link. And uh, my legs were my weakest, weakest link, link. So I had to work on them as much as possible on my off season and bring them up because my strengths were going to be fine and they were going to get better, which they did, uh, along with me working on my weaknesses. And uh, so once the year started and I went back to training with Branch and we started back normal training again and stuff like this and started dieting with uh, Chris. And once we chopped off all the fat and uh, we had a perfect me, as perfect as I could get. And uh, I guess it was good enough to win the wings of strength so uh we'll see what happens at the olympia I'm signing with mutant i have to say is one of the best things i've ever done in my my career um it totally revamped my career like i said i was uh pretty much uh, a couple years ago uh not down in the dumps but kind of downing myself and and wondering um if this is what i wanted to continue doing for the next three or four years and uh i wasn't really sure and still was competing not being so sure um, but signing on with Mutant, um, you know what I mean? We, it, it just meshed. Um, uh, you know, I, I researched and uh, saw some of the things they did and some of the beliefs and what they were trying to put out there. And, um, you, you know, I liked their ideas and I, I liked the way they were presenting their stuff and um, the things they were saying. Um, I, I believed in it and I, I thought the same way myself and a lot of things that, you know, they, they were doing. Um, so it, it was like, a, you know, a beautiful marriage. And um, like I have now with my wife and, uh, you know, like I said, it was one of the best things I've ever done for, you know, my family, my career. And um, man, uh, till the day uh, I'm done with bodybuilding, I hope uh, I continue to be uh, on Team uh, Mutant because uh, it doesn't get any better than this.
Oh, in five years, I can I can see myself in five years. Um, I, uh, my uh, bodybuilding career, uh, competing on stage, uh, will be at a standstill. <laughs> Definitely like that within the next five years. I, I'm um, contemplating on. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure next year will be my last year of competing on stage. Um, even if if it's full time competing on stage, I, I might part time maybe once in a while the next couple of years after next year, you know, do one here, one there, you know, overseas or something like that, jump into one just to, you know, mix it up a little bit or throw a monkey wrench and, you know, the IFBB plans on, uh, you know, the show plans and stuff like that, you know, being a little bit of a, a thorn in the side, if you could say. Um, but um, I don't know, man. Um, I got a lot, of, a lot of things in my head that I like to do. Um, I, I know I'll own my own business for sure. Um, I'm, I am coaching. Um, now um, I have I I have to be pro that I'm coaching uh, as of January. I will uh, withdraw a little bit now, but of January officially, um, I have a few Canadian um, uh, guys that I'm helping out that are getting ready for the Canadian Nationals le uh, next year. Um, I I you know help Trevor Coot, who's a part of uh, Team Mutant, but in doing that, I I got a couple of other guys there at the Canadian Nationals that inquired and uh, are inter interested in working with me. So that's going to be real cool. Um, and also, uh, you can't forget the NPC JOJ Classic that is coming up October 24th uh, every year. Uh, so this year, 2015, will be my first year of the show and hopefully it'll be successful and every year after that. So uh, definitely be promoting uh, shows and or my show and uh, hopefully uh, I'll have two or three more added on in the next few years, and uh, you know we'll go for all, uh, go on from there. But uh, you'll definitely see me around the bodybuilding world and in the magazines and stuff like that, and videos. Um, uh, so uh, we'll, we'll definitely keep active. Man, what I want to say to the fans is giving me support over the last 15 years. It's been a ride. You know, it's really been an awesome ride, a, a blessed ride. Um, you know, I come from a small town in Hamilton, New Jersey, and, um, you know, um, really shy, you know, kid and still as a, you know, adult, uh, believe it or not. And, um, you know, you, you, uh, you always had a, you know, a bunch of friends and stuff like this and, uh, you know, um, always done well in sports and, you know, everybody thought, you know, back then that, uh, you know, I would turn pro as a, a running back in the NFL. You know, it's funny. Um, and so that was one of the major dreams. And uh, bodybuilding was also coincide with uh, that dream of uh, becoming pro NFL player. Um, so uh, I remember a quick story uh, when I was 12 years old in the breakfast table with my mom. And um, I told her then I said, oh, you know what, mom, I'm going to either be a professional football player or a professional bodybuilder. And uh, she looked me dead in the eye and said, you know what, I believe you said, you're going to be a professional something, you know, whatever you put your mind to, you know, I know you'll do it and, um, you know, you, you'll get, you'll get it done, you know, and I never forgot that. And that really fueled, you know, Johnny Jackson, you know, over a, my lifetime of uh, never give up and uh, that you will accomplish there, you, you know, there's something out there professionally that you will do that you're going to accomplish and be good at, you know, um, so uh, to actually, um, you know, one come to fruition is, is, is it's amazing, you know, to be living this lifestyle and, uh, you know, to have so many people to support what you do and to back up and have so many emails and, you know, uh, messages and, you know, uh, from people. And, you know, I just won this, um, you know, this, the Wings of Strength in San Antonio. And, you know, it's amazing the, the flurry of uh, congratulations and, you know, you can almost, you know, reading the messages, you can feel the excitement that's coming from that person typing it. You know, somehow you can feel it, you know, in the message. Um, I can anyway. So, you know, I, I deeply from the bottom of my heart really appreciate it. And um, I can never give back to you guys what you've given to me. I, I, I can't. I only can thank you, you know, so much and, and um, continue to give, you know, 100%. Um, like I have been over these years uh, of the years that I have left in the sport and uh, just pray and hope that, um, you know, I don't let you down. And uh, I, also, I can also, you know, motivate you 
uh, continuously and to helping you achieve your goals. And because um, for sure you do the vice versa for me because of the stories that you tell me that, um, about losing weight or changing your lifestyle or accomplishing different things or accomplishing a goal, um, it motivates me uh, totally. So, uh, you know, thank you. Um, it goes both ways and, and uh, keep doing what you're doing and I'll keep doing what I'm doing and I, I appreciate it.